Hi everybody, it's Julie, and today I have pages, okay? These are not my final pages, but these are what I've got so far. And so we'll go ahead and give you a, a peek, okay? So I have um, some avocado dyed papers and a um, couple different sizes here. And so I will be using those. I don't want to cut them down yet. Now, for, um, for making your dyed papers, you can go ahead and use your grates and your pans um, to get your, your different, like the, the holy dot paper. Okay. Um, and, oh, it's not in here, but I also, there's the little tiny, my little tiny grill. And this is a different grill. Um, your, your charger plate for the embossed paper, if you, um, if you're doing that, um, or even the, the plaque like I've done before, you can look for Dear Julie Julie Water Emboss, and it'll show you how I've done those pages. Um, so yes, you can, um, you can have those, uh, but unless, uh, unless you're using like a doily as your linen, you don't have a, a doily to use. Or, I mean, if you cut a snowflake out of paper, then yeah, you might have something in, in that way. You guys, I've been um, mixed media, playing with mixed media, and it's it came off my desk. It came off everything but my hands. Okay, so um, so I have those. Remember, we do have to have some either coffee dyed, tea dyed, vegetable dyed, um, Easter egg dyed, something pages in your um, in there, and that's going to give you some more pages. Okay, so that was the whole idea of that part was. Um, I wanted you to be able to add those, um, add those there. And I do have a couple of other ideas, but I may use them as tip-ins, uh, rather than pages. Okay. So the next thing is you can use any type of paper for printing your Dear Julie Julie digital. Here I have just a plain old copy paper and I've printed this on a plain old copy paper. Um, don't know what I'm going to do with it yet, but I wanted to have a plain old copy paper to show you. Okay. Down here, I have another plain old copy paper. Now, this is out of the Pink Birds Digital. Okay. So, this is from the Pink Birds Digital. Um, this is from the Paris Trejoli Ephemera. Okay. And then I have this that I've printed on cardstock and this that I've printed on cardstock. So that's going to give me some things that I can use from out of cardstock. Here is, um, well, it's the same image, but I put, I put the map in wrong. I wanted this image over here. So I kept it. I will do something with it. Um, but there I've got, I, I have a Dear Julie Julie print image printed on this and I could just go ahead and put it in and then maybe cover this or something. I don't know, but the words are going to be upside down, but say la vie, <laughs> say la vie. Oh boy. Okay. So this one. I printed wallet size. I told it I wanted it to print one wallet and that's what it printed and it printed it right there. Okay. So I can use that in my journal like this. I can use this to fold it up. Um, you know, I'll be able to call it, to make a pocket out of this, whatever. But I've got, I've got ledger in my just junk journal by printing a wallet size here. Okay, uh, this was a mistake, but I will use it. Um, 
<laughs> it was supposed to, first it was supposed to have the green decoration on the back. Then these are supposed to be in this way so that the, so the lines are this way. Um, I really messed it up, but I will use it for ephemera probably. I mean, I can always just cut out the little things. Um, I can use the two postcards. It'll be fine. Um, this is on, you guys, I found some of my old paper. And so I printed this one on my old paper. And I absolutely love the way this turns out when I get to print that on the old paper. Isn't that cool? Wrinkles and all. Love it. Okay, so here... <laughs> I printed this one after I printed this one because this one was upside down. And it is on calendar. So my calendar that I picked out, because I'm trying to use up things that I've already started using, is this calendar here. And um, I think it'll be good because of the black and white in it and the pink. And then I also can use these if I want to. And so... Yeah, so I figured, you know, I can, I can, I can cut and, you know, make tags out of this or whatever. Um, and it's okay. It's a junk journal. It's okay that the numbers are upside down. I might cover them or something, but I'm not going to use it as a page like I was originally going to use it. Okay. So I was going to originally use it like a page like that. So when I messed this one up, I went ahead and I printed that one. Okay. Now here, I have this on the calendar page. I love this because you can still journal all around the outside if you wanted to. I think this would be really pretty on the in, you know, the center um, of a of a journal page, and I really love the way that one turned out. Nineteen oh eight. Okay, and I also did it on vellum. So I think that will be fun to have. I don't know if I should put them, put them together. I don't know, probably not. But anyway, I did it on vellum paper also. Um, here I printed these on some of the polka dot scrapbook paper that I have. And yes, there is this down here. I'll probably go ahead and, you know, add some collaging or something down there. Um, but these can be cut out and be pages. So small pages in the journal. And so, yeah, and that gets some of that in there. And this one is also, it's got this here, but it's also printed on that. Now this... I can go ahead and put a tuck down here. You're still going to have the decoration. I think that that will be really, really good. Really, really good. Okay. Then the Paris Trejoli kit does have the music. It printed a little off, but I think it's okay because it's this is what the background is. It's a scrapbook paper that I had or cardstock. And so I can either add something over here um you know i can come in and fix this as well somehow we'll see we'll see my printer is picking it it picks up late so so imagine this is where the the where it's feeding through it waits and waits and waits and then it picks it up there's actually like this much more of that picture that did not show up here and then you can see we have that over there but i was like okay it's going to be okay because um this is all going to show up okay and this is what my my other side is and that is because i'm using another one of my birthday things you see me of something else what oh the tissue paper you might not have seen that but I used it on a project. Um, this was it. My birthday present came was in this gift bag, and I was like, "Oh, I've got that, that, that will um, sort of match it." So, yeah, sort of. 
I think I think it'll it's close enough. And you're like, well, how did you get that in to bring it in? Well, I I printed this on here, okay, and then I printed this one with the little one and this on this, and then here. This one fed through wrong, so she showed up here, which is okay. And then I have the green on the back. And so I can, um, you know, I can do other stuff around it. Just kind of a bummer. But um, anyway, so I printed on, these were 12 by 12 pages. And I cut them down to 8.5 by 11. Okay, and you can use your scrap pieces from your 12 by 12 papers. I wasn't going to do that, but I really don't want us to, to have leftovers. Okay, so I have these two pieces that I can make tags out of, and um, they are leftover pieces from the 12 by 12 paper. Okay, so it's 12 by 12 paper. And see, this even has the green is on it. I really like it. I wonder if I should I should green this one. Nah, we'll leave it. Okay. So, um, yeah. So I ha I think I have a good variation. Um, the next thing is is that my my book is actually bigger. Um, now I can go ahead and I can use a cereal box and I could just do a regular size. However, I want to use this on the cover. Okay. Yeah, sparkly and all. And the, to get that whole Eiffel Tower on there, I need to use this book. Okay, so what that means is, is I need to be creative with some of these pages that I have, I have done to be able to get pages that are going to fit inside here. And so that is going to be my next endeavor is to go through and cut down the pictures or the pages and to come up with pages that I like that are going to fit inside this, um, this journal. Now, originally, I did this so that it could go in like this. But you see, we're going to lose. I mean, it's, it's, quite, it's quite a difference. Okay? It's quite a difference. Um, you can get a better idea with... Okay, so you see, we need like a whole nether half inch. This I can, we can fix because the creep will fix part of that. I will be adding lace from either my linen or from my um, garment. And so, so we can do that. We can do, um, you know, we can stagger things. So like that could go there and then this could could be down lower. I mean, that's something that we can do and, and um, kind of make it haphazard, but at the end that it would be this, this big. Um, so my other thing is if I don't use this book cover and even if I... If I go with this size and use the cereal box, I'm thinking out loud here. It's my prerogative to, to think out. I think I'm going to do that because I can bring in another book. And by doing that, I can bring in maybe a music book. Okay, I'm, I'm going to just get this for the, is that going to be big enough? And this could be my main pages and I could do like master board pages. Yeah. Okay, so let's, uh, let's go ahead and pull one of these out and let's see what, what we think. Okay. 
Okay. So, a book. Let's see. If we fold this in half, what do we get? Okay, I think we'll do that. And this will be my, these will be my main pages. And then I will have these beautiful pages in here. Um, yeah, okay. So, <laughs> darn, I can't use this book because I want to, so I'm going to use that book. So that'll be my book. But it also gives me great, um, Things that I can use for tags because you can use that for um, if they're in the right direction. That could be your your writing space on the back of tags and things as well. And I have um, several pages in here. So How funny. The numbers are 2321. And somebody was learning this 82092. <laughs> okay. So So there's that. Now the other thing that I can do and that I should do is take the staples out. Okay, so if, it, if I take the staples out of this book, and yeah, you can use a staple remover to take your books apart, okay? Because I want you to be able to, if you've chosen a journal or something as your book, I want you to be able to take it apart clean. Okay, Let's see if I can open my drawer here, barely. I still haven't... Um, started cleaning the okay there's that and look at these I can use those those will make great little embellishments in the piano might make a fun key uh, tag I think this will be fun. I was thinking about getting out. I have a couple of French books. And I was thinking about getting the French books out. But that would require <laughs> trying to find them. I don't know where they are. Because that's the part of the craft room that is um, all over the place still. And they're not coming. The books are not coming back in the craft room. But they do have places that they're going okay so I've taken that out and the reason I wanted to do that is now I can actually make a couple that are side by side with pockets okay so this is going to give me pockets um, I can use these larger paper pages I could cover the journal with these with this and then um, use the other kind of like as a patch but um Yeah, so I think that that's going to be awesome. We'll have some some pages that will be big enough. Because that was the one thing I was worried about is that I wasn't going to have um, pages that were full full size of the of the journal. And you don't have to. I, you can have all the funky sized pages. Um, but I like the the uniform look of some of the pages being all the same. So how many pages do I need? Well, to make a 60 page journal, I need, um, let's grab one of these. To make a 60 page journal, I need 15 papers that are folded to give me four, four sides. I'm going to go a little bit up on this so that, okay. Okay, so I've just gone up and made a fold. Okay. And I have it even there and I'll fold it out and fold it out. 
okay? And then I'll, I'll cut down the, the sides or these could even flip in. These could flip, okay? So I'm gonna want a couple of those, I think. Now that we've got one, we can go ahead, put it up a, just, a, just a hair. Put it down and fold. Okay, and so there's two with pockets. There's one, two, three, and four. Okay, so that'll give me, if I do two signatures, that gives me three pages of the real size for each. Oh, we've still got two more pages down here, so that'll give us four pages, okay, if I use them. Okay, I'm gonna look to see. We've got one, two, three, four, five, six left. Might be able to use that for something special, but I do also have these that I can use on the back. I'm going to put it down here with, uh, with my calendar. So this is my calendar. I still have more pages left. And just like the music, I have these that I can use as well. Okay. I don't know if I showed you that already. Okay. So Okay, so that dilemma is taken care of. I will be making my cover out of a um, cereal box. I can go ahead and fold these. Okay, so this one, having um, this in here and in that, in that way, we'll go ahead and fold that one like that. This one... We'll also fold, just fold it in half. I still haven't decided what journal this is going to be for me. Okay, this, I have this page. I think we'll go ahead and do this one in this direction. Okay. And these are extra. Got that. Okay, this could could go in this direction. Let's see how it would fit. Okay. Because I'm thinking we could go ahead and add to it, but I don't like that. So I am going to... I'm going to cut this one down to this to, to where those lines are. Okay. Because my printer, that's the thing about cart printing cardstock on my printer. It doesn't like it. Does your printer like cardstock? If it does, let me know cuz I'm going to be in the be looking for a new one this year and what I'll do is I'll line this up with the the top or the bottom edge not the side edge okay and I've got some of these those can be extra and so just like I said we'll line this up over here not worrying about that because knowing that it's probably not going to be straight but our music will be straight and that's what we get, okay? And then we get that. Love it. Okay. Um, then we'll have this, and I'm going to cut around these two. Now, could go ahead. These could be... Um, 
They could end up being pockets. I have an idea. So one set of them I'm thinking might be pockets and the other set be um, page. Okay, so looking at these, which one would I want to be pocket? Okay, because I'm looking at this and I'm thinking that, you know, we could put these in like this. Okay, and they could be a pocket. We just have to... Okay, what I do with this is I usually fold it in this direction. Okay, first. So, um, we can go a little more. It can have a little bit of a, a gutter here. Okay is I'll fold it in this direction first because I can see my pictures and then I'll fold it back, okay? Then fold it back for it to fit in here. And I may have to cut some off and that's okay, but there, then that can be um, pockets. And this one can be pages. So remember to be able to use any all these odd papers um, unless it's my book that I've chosen like the music is my from my book that I chose okay so you get to choose a book to use one book um, one time I used my map book that was my my book of choice was the um, Thomas guide but it was cool because it also has all those pages that have um, the addresses and stuff uh, or the zip codes and things. Okay. And so that gives me that. And it, I think that'll be fun to have. And then we'll just put it in here. Fold it. Okay, so that gives me a little. I like short pages, so that's cool. I have this page here. And I'm just going to go ahead and... For now, I'm just going to fold it. Okay, so this one went in this direction. Because of her. And I think we'll do... Okay, so there's those. Okay, now I know I want to use this in the center of a, one of the things. I may go ahead and see if I can find another page to add in. And this, we can go ahead and fold it over. This is our upside down one. Here's a little um, avocado dyed page. Here's our old paper. We'll use that for ephemera. And now that we know that um, we have our papers are big enough, we can go ahead and I'm looking for the cutter. Okay, I can cut this one. Um, you know what? Let's measure. We can cut it at 33. So we'll, we'll go with the full, full size. And the scrap that I'm cutting off, we can go ahead and put it in the scrap pile. Okay? So, um, 
And then, let's see. You know, this might be kind of fun as a tip-in because it will, it will fit to go like, like that. I think that's what I'm going to do with that. Okay, line it up. Okay, so this will get glued down here. You'll still have all that and that. I love that idea. Okay, this I'm going to put... Um, no, we decided I could still use it, that I would just do something about those places. Okay. This I'll put aside for ephemera. Ephemera and ephemera. Um, I have used this piece before and cut it and had it side by side in the journal, but I, I'm going to need tags so and things. So, And then I also have this with the birds, and you'll see it has some similar pieces to it so that'll be cool okay now I have I have this and you know what we're gonna grab a, a piece of the calendar we're gonna take this this one Oh, you know what? Let's do the poppies because we are using, you know what? Nope. Cause then we'll have the numbers upside down. The thing about these ones is <laughs> it doesn't matter what direction you put it in. Okay. So what I'm going to do with this is I'm going to cut it down to eight and a half. As soon as I find, oh, I guess we're using this one today. Go to here, and then we'll pull our piece out. So I will have it eight and a half. No, not eight and a half. Sorry. Let's get let's. This one can be real size because. Okay, so let's use this to measure our real size. Let's measure our real size. Okay, come down here. Our real size is nine inches. Okay, I want to cut the hole off. So we'll come up here to nine inches. Put that down. And these pieces can go in our scraps. And we've got this 12 inch piece that we can go ahead and I want a flip-flop so I'm going to go ahead and make my flap here okay and then I will let's see I'll fold it over you know what let's should we use some of this for for the inside Okay, so we can add on to this right here. We can add on to that with another piece of something that we have hanging around. Like, like this would have been a good piece. That, that small piece like this. We could have gone ahead and added that on. Um, but we'll add something on here. We'll add a flip-flop, okay? And it'll be a full-size flip-flop. Is that? Yeah, we're within. Belle. Okay, but there. Okay. 
Okay, and this will be in the binding right here. Okay, so if you don't know what a flip-flop is, uh, stay tuned because we'll be doing that very soon. It is one of the required items this time. Okay, so I'm going to put that over as my flip-flop. And then I think we'll add this. And we'll add one of these. Okay, I think that's I think that's good. Okay, so we've got those. We'll have two calendar pages. We'll have all these pages. Okay, for just junk. It's pretty pretty cool that we've got all this going on and we're making we're doing just junk okay so that's a lot of pages we still have these two i think we'll just cut these down these are our pocket pages and so what is our what are we this this way we are six So if I'd have had a um, printer that I could print on 12 by 12 paper, then we would have. Whoa. No, 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 no. Okay. Oh, it's because of the pocket. I'm like, what? Okay. We got that. That's a. Pocket page and pocket page. Okay, so I hope that helped you figuring out about printing on papers. Now, I will put in the description box below um, the video where I printed on a variety of stickers and things like that. Yes, you can use them if you print on them. And I will also put a video down below of a couple of ways that I, where you can actually see me using the printer to print um, a variety of ways onto, onto papers to give you a variety of looks. So this is what I've got at this time okay um so we've got two three four five six seven and back here is the other one so we got eight music pages we've got one two three Four cardstock. We've got our two calendar pages. We've got one, two, three, four of these. We've got one of the the small the dot paper. We have a ledger. We have a map. We have vellum, old paper. And we have the two pieces from this. One, one will probably be a pocket. One will probably be a small um, at this. Maybe, you know what? Maybe two smalls. Maybe two smalls because I can make pockets out of everything that we've got. Okay? So that was 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25. That'll give me 100 pages. 
I think I'm going to do three signatures. And so, um, yeah, so that gives you an idea of how I've got my things printed and how I'm going to be able to uh, make make my, um, since my pages are only eight and a half by 11 because of the printer, but I was able to make the music pages and these two pages to be the um, larger. And so we'll have, I think we'll have a good variety of size in there. And I can go ahead and add couple of these in there those could be I could do smalls out of those or tags okay so um, yeah so that is building my junk journal out of what I got okay so you know I like to to have my ledger on the inside and I like to have my ledger next to a pocket so I think um, that is going to go like this. Now, the thing is, is I also want to do that as a tip in. So I'm probably going to want um, maybe, maybe that. Okay, because I need it to be large. So this can get attached to this. Okay, and then I'll have my flip-flop right there. Okay, so now it's time for an image. And I'm thinking, where did, oh, they're underneath me, okay. Okay, so that'll give me the beginning. And you know what, what if we put, Put her on the front because that kind of takes care of of every all the things like that right okay so that's possibility that would be one two three we're not going to count the the ledger three. Okay. And we're ready for an image. Oh, she's the same image. So we'll use her later. How about this? Okay. And that gives me then some of that bright color right there. And I'm thinking possibly this with this on here. Okay, so one, two, three. One, two, one, two, three, four, five, six. And then whatever is going to be in the center. And so we were thinking. Okay, we, we started this one with a light piece. So what is our other calendar? Okay. We are, we've got a calendar already. So, oh, music. Let's just put a music in the middle. Music in the middle. Nope. Not the pocket one. Just the music. Okay. And then we could, um, put an envelope. That would be a good idea. I think I have like, I have some that are this. You can use as many envelopes in your journal as you want to use. And they can come from anywhere. Okay. Figuring that we just all have a lot of envelopes. So, so there I have my first signature. I love it. I think that is going to be perfect. I love the variety of colors. I love this right here. I think that's, and that's going to be our flip-flop. We'll have lace or something here. 
or we can cut this down and and have it kind of have the waterfall effect and then we'll have music and our envelope okay so that is number one so number two i think we'll start with music and then let's go oh let's go with the waltz okay we've got music music nope <laughs> how about uh ooh, some of the darker okay so that how about we do the um okay let's see I'm not going to go quite all the way over, okay? I'm going to do this, this, okay? I like that. That gives us some of that pretty color. We go here. Maybe our map. Another music. Music. And this. Okay. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. And I may put another envelope. Let me put one in here as a placeholder. Okay, I'm thinking as a double tuck, but we'll probably go ahead and go with another one of those big bright ones. Okay, right there. Okay. That gives us two. So now we're down to our last one. And I'm thinking, oh, this, we'll start with this piece. Okay. And, um, okay, go start with this piece. Uh, then we'll do the, do we have the pocket music? Yes, pocket music page. Okay, pocket music page. I think we'll go with pink in between there. There's no rhyme or re I'm just, I am just doing this, just putting it in going okay yeah that could go there this one has this i think that should go and i think okay i don't want this to be in the middle i mean i don't i this can be in the middle okay that can't be right there but it could go right here Okay. Yeah, some of these are the same image. Might have to move things around a little bit. Okay, there's that. Okay, so if we bring this one into the center, and we can add that, and we can do some, some collaging or something here to fix that page. And that can be our center, okay? And I like that, and I like that. And okay. I'm gonna put this one in full, but I'll probably end up cutting some of it down.
I just want a little bit of color in there somewhere. Okay, you know, I'm thinking music on the outside. It might be kind of cool to do music on the outside of all of them. Um, and then to decorate them. That's what I'm what I'm thinking. Okay, so some music. That is a pocket. There's that. Um Okay, I like that. Okay. <laughs> I don't know if you saw what I what I switched out there. So now we've got we've got this piece and I think this one depending on if if that same piece is in here. Okay. Whoop, let's turn that in the right direction or I might have just turned it all Try this. Okay, there's that pretty. There's that. There's that. I think we can put this here. Okay. Okay, so music, pretty, pink, music. Um, that map, the thing from the double tuck that that and that's our center okay so we have one two music in this one and that one has one two Two music in that one okay and this one has one okay I want something brighter here Okay, I can do anything as a pocket. So let's uh, let's do another middle there, or there. Yeah, I like that. Okay, so there's that. There's that. There's that. Okay, so one, two, three music in this one. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay, so that's got ten pages. That's a lot, but that's okay. Do we have um, pink pages in here? Got one and a little one. Okay, that's good. Okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, it's got one pink page. I think it could have a second pink page. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. <laughs> One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Okay, I really don't see another place to put a music. Unless we Yeah, I, I think 
I have three. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and the envelope. It's going to have the tip in. It's going to have the flip flop in here. I think that's good. Okay. So eight, nine, and 10. That's 19, 27. That's over 100 pages. Um, front and back, large and small. But I love it. And then I can decorate on these pages. Okay. One, two, three. I don't know. Is that. I know I'm going to love that. Got a pocket here. And then I can use those somewhere else. We'll be able to come in and fix fix these where my my thing broke, but put lace there or something or possibly even um, could fold it over this way it's got that bright piece we'll see okay so that is what i have at this time um my pages are ready so that i can at least go ahead and oh we have two more to add in you guys oh my gosh the all important from the first day well heck that could be the inside Okay, but that gives us another, um, yeah, I like that. I think we'll do that. And then we'll have this one. Might take out a music. Add that in. Oh, that's our pocket music. <laughs> Don't take out the pockets. I think it might be fun to have that with that. Or. Okay, I'm gonna do that. And we'll put the pocket page on as the first page. Okay. Okay, this is the one we did with the napkin. It feels amazing. And there's our pocket. That was our first thing that we have finished for this journal. Here's a, a little border tuck that we made also. Um, I don't know, maybe it should go. It would have to go like here. Ooh, that's actually kind of pretty. Yeah, I think we'll do that. Okay, so we'll open it, have a pocket, have our ledger. This will be our flip-flop, our pages. They look really good with our napkin. And then across, all the way across on the other side, we'll have our pocket. Yeah, I think this will be great. Okay. Okay, I feel like I got something accomplished. And I hope you enjoyed uh, picking out pages and getting them ready. Um, like I said, I'll be making a cereal box cover that's the same size as this book. But with a bigger spine. And... Um, yeah, but you see, that would have been so perfect. But I need the book. I need the music. So I needed the music book to add it to my my thing. But look at I think it's going to be really cool. Very, very cool. So this is the January Just Junk Journal for the Dear Julie Julie Challenge 2023. You can find the details video in the description box down below. Go there, 
watch it, follow the directions, join us. We'd love to have you. Remember, there are prizes. Um, everyone receives a free digital that finishes, posts it on time, and posts all their pictures and everything. We also have a two-hour virtual internet party. We call it the VIP, and they are, are the VIPs for that digital. That's the other thing is that they are the guest design team members for that digital. They receive them first, and so um, they get to make something and share with everyone as a, a guest design team member. Find something to celebrate every day. Have an amazing day. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye. Bye-bye.